Hi guys, good morning. We're here at Spada making whipped soap today. And I'm starting off with the base. I've got two soap recipes that I have to do. I'm doing a basic cold process soap for the base of my cupcake soaps. And then for the frosting of my soap, I'm going to use my whipped frosting soap recipe. So come along, let's have a look. Let's see what I got going here. Here I have a gorgeous yellow. I put some neon colorant in there, but it's going to turn out hopefully a nice lemon color. I don't have too much in there today. Um, I've got it pretty much at a thick trace right now, so I'm going to pour. Once I give it a little stir. Okay, I'm going to go pour these in the base. I'll be back. And because uh, I don't have my stand here right now to stand you up to let you guys look at this process. But, um, no, maybe I'll go see if I can find it. Just hold on. Hold on. Hold on here. Let's see if I can find that stand. Mm -hmm. And here we are. Yay! Let's give you a little spin on the merry-go-round. All right. So let's get this poured, shall we? Okay. I'm going to pour at a thick trace a thick consistency because I want to see if I can avoid some soda ash here. Um, I find soda ash with my cupcake soaps can sometimes be an issue which doesn't harm the quality of the soap. It's mainly just an aesthetic thing. Um, it gives it a nice little snowy frosty look right on the top of your soap. Okay. Let's get that blender down there. This new um, stick blender that I have is really powerful. I had to be kind of slow and careful with what I was doing. Alright, so I'm going to put a little bit in each one. Actually, just hold on here. I'm going to give you guys a view. Let's have I can pour while you guys watch me. It looks just like lemon ring. Mmm. I'm using an aluminum pan here, but I covered it with uh, plastic because, as you know, aluminum and lye, they don't like each other. So I'm curious now whether I'm going to have some left over. This is so fun. I really miss making soap. Sometimes I can, it can be hard getting myself into it, but once I get started, watch out. I have my hard oils for my next batch for the whipped soap chilling in the fridge because it's like when you make um, Cool Whip, you need stuff really cold. Otherwise if it's not really cold it's going to melt the hard oils and you're not going to get that nice frosting peaks that we're looking for once we want to frost these babies. Mmm, looks so good. Now, a lot of people um, put like the 99% rubbing alcohol. They spray these to prevent soda ash. I've tried that and I really don't find it makes a whole lot of difference to be honest. I find I still get soda ash. So I'm going to try to fill these up a little bit more. Give it a little more soap. It's a nice thick trace. Now they say that if you do it at a thick trace, that 
it can help prevent soda ash. So we'll see how that works. Whew, my arm, this is heavy. Whew. Goodness gracious. I'm going to have this scrapey scrapey my bowl. Hold on a second here. I got some good muscle work going on here. Ow. <laughs> okay, so let's get all our nice beautiful soap. Let's get this all out. Get it going. Whew, I'm going to sweat here. I find when I'm wearing my goggles. And my, and my face mask and all that, and I'm all suited up. I just sweat like a pig under this thing. Whew. Okay, let's see if we can use up the rest of this soap. This was just enough for 12, 12 cupcakes. Perfect recipe. i got to write that down. Okay. Come on, soap. Okay. So I'm going to give this a little tap just to flatten it out. Alright, I think that's enough. Um, I might try to get more in this one. I don't want to overflow. Oh, sugar, I did overflow. I better be good. <laughs> I could have made a sample. Just be careful. Okay. I gotta be good. No overflowing the cupcake liners. Alright. I think that's good. All right. There. So, we'll let those set. Let's get started on our whip soap. So, I'll be back in a, a little bit. I'm just going to check on the oils. We can have a peek at that now, just to see what's going on with oils in the fridge. Okay. So, ah, now, let's have a look. Ooh, it's doing really good. Um, still not good enough though. Almost. I gotta get the sides here. Okay, so we need it to go on a little bit longer just to get a little bit thicker, but not too much thicker. And then we're gonna place this in the mixer. Let's get our lye solution started, shall we? Okay, see you back in a little while.